Hi, Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading uh, for the week of July 10th to July 16th, 2017. For those of you who are uh, unfamiliar with my, uh, I do the Crooks on Sada spread sometimes. I shuffle the cards 10 times, and um, by reducing 10, we get one. And one is the beginning, the starting point, without there would, be, there would be nothing. This is why this number is related to God, because it is the beginning and the first cause. Nothing could therefore be more appropriate for the Crooks on Sada, since the cross represents life. Life. This life survives on other planes until the time comes to reincarnate, okay? So uh, this will be for your sun, moon, and rising Sagittarius as well, okay? So uh, Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising for uh, with the Kruk Sun Sada spread for July 10th to July uh, 16th, 2017. All right, let's see. Your starting point, Sag, the water element. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I do feel like you may be communicating. Uh, I'm getting like toning down, so you may have, have been arguing with this person about something, um, but I'm getting like missing in action. So either you're arguing with this person because someone else is missing in action, or they're arguing with you, asking you what you did, what you said, uh, whatever the situation is. So literally someone, if you're tied to someone or in a relationship with someone, this could be your sister saying okay what did you do to her or, or what did you do to him um to not talk to you or call you back or answer your phone calls so this could be a job situation like wh why did you leave like what was going on in the workplace that you had to leave if it's a personal relationship uh you could be tied to someone and like this is your uh, family member asking you why uh someone isn't talking to you like you may have uh, it feels like you may be taking or have been taking a temporary break off of someone or someone is kind of like uh i'm getting like unintentionally taking a break off from you or you're taking a break off from them okay you're waiting on the man. You're waiting on the sign of Aquarius, or you're waiting on someone who is like a star. Someone is out there. Someone is popular. Is what I'm getting here. Um, but I'm getting this. There's, there's too much. Either someone is doing too much. Someone is uh, sharing too much. Um, someone is like kind of like uh, they're they're too much of their personal life is out there is the kind of feeling that I get. So this could be Instagram. This could be like you watching someone online um, and you're seeing that they're a little bit too much out there. Um, I don't really see how that could be much of an issue really because uh, this could be you being out there, but this could like everybody's out there and nothing is really private anymore. So you're kind of worried uh, about like your, there's a vulnerability attached to this energy as well so if you're tied to someone who uh it could be a relationship partner you're tied to your partner and you're like your partner is really out there um but you're worried about something being exposed um that you don't want people to know and it's like maybe your partner is really out there that the kind of work that your partner does or you do is is really putting you out there like it's putting you out there to the point like literally uh so that every the whole world can see so that uh everyone could be in your business or in their their business um so it's just worry as to like what is getting revealed or what will be revealed is what it feels like this is just a worry uh like you're waiting it's just a worry ww here uh world wide web with this online stuff so it could be uh someone's out there online okay the present is a yon is yansa so this is literally like a female that you're dealing with uh i'm getting like this person like they 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 have risen Okay, so this is a star. Literally, someone is like successful. They have risen, literally. Like they are doing very well in their career. Like they, um, I'm getting even sleeping. Like this is like someone is sleeping, like they're in a deep sleep. Or like you're like hoping that they would wake up. I don't know why that's important. Or it's it's kind of like uh, metaphorically, someone is like in a deep seat with their life situation. Or are you feel like someone's sleeping on your relationship? You're sleeping on your relationship uh, with this person. This may be someone who likes to wear pink. They may be fair skinned. They may be very bubbly and really out there. Like um, or you have kids that like Barbie. I don't know what the case is with that, but uh, it's a sleeping situation. Like uh, you're waiting for someone to wake up. Someone is sleeping and it's hard for them to wake up. Literally, like they're not, there's hard for to wake them up. 
Um, or like they need to wake up about their life or you do, you know, there's something is going on there. Um, waking up and, and really paying attention to, uh, how much is really out there, how much is being said about you or about your partner, if that's the case. Okay. So as whereas you may have been trying your best to be private, you may have been trying your best to keep things on the low. Uh, that's kind of like no more anymore because of like who you're tied to or like who you're married to or who you're sleeping with. So someone is just really out there with uh, their lifestyle and it's like you you can't really you, you want them to sleep you you want them to sleep you want them to, to keep quiet like they're just they're rising like they're they're doing well in their career but uh you want them to stay quiet you want them to stay down for whatever reason okay so it could be jealousy it could be you're rising or someone else is rising successfully uh but there's jealousy associated surrounding this individual Okay, like you don't want them, there's a need to not want somebody to rise or someone is rising and they're successful and there's hateration surrounding this individual here. The future has the seven of water, I'm going to leave that last. Your instincts has fairies and sifts. Fairies and sifts is like your creative self. Um, I also look at look to that as an air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, or sometimes maybe even water. I look at this and I feel water and air energy, an older individual. Using your instincts, maybe you met someone that may have come across to be very friendly. They could have been an Aquarius. Uh, they may have come across to be a very friendly person. But in actuality, that they're, they're a little sneaky, like they they're a snake is the kind of vibe that I get. So watch out. Uh, use your instincts uh, with that Aquarius individual. You might be sharing a little bit too much with them that you really shouldn't be. OK, so they could be a friend that you know, they could be a friend that you've had for a long period of time or however many months like you've known or a short time. doesn't matter. But someone is a bit sneaky around you. Um, just be leery as to like what you share. Like I said, your accomplishments has the nine of fire energy. Nine of fire uh, is defending yourself. Uh, I always look at this and I feel like your spiritual views as well. Um, needing to defend your spiritual views to other people. Um, it could be that that's the kind of work that you're in. You're into spiritual work and uh, people don't like it. People are not into that, whatever the case may be. Um, but I also, on the second note, um, you are getting a lot of recognition. Like I said, you are rising. You're a rising star, uh, literally, with these two cards together here. You're rising star okay with these two cars and like i said be careful of jealousy be careful of hateration uh, be careful of things or relationships and uh occurrences and things that you've done in the past that uh you're fearing um coming up to the surface but this is literally defending what kind of work that you're in or defending a relationship that you're in because it's fire sign energy here okay um defending your relationship against an air sign or vice versa wise why you want to be with an air sign or why your partner wants to be with air or why why do you want to be a star maybe getting interviewed by people what may you join your career so if you're a newscast uh you're doing that kind of thing people are asking you if this work people are literally asking you you know why you joined this job why do you want to be here if you're into if you're getting interviewed people are asking you what what why should we hire you okay so that is a lot of what is going on there okay your uh spiritual self has oshala the sign of aries uh, Oshala represents the emperor. So you could be connected to an Aries and an Aquarius. Um, I'm getting like they're both guys. Um, they're both guys that you're in between. So either you had a sexual relationship with one, um, some kind of secrecy surrounding that as well. Um, you might have met an Aquarius online. So like I said, this is, I got WW. So you may be like online with someone or uh, communicating, but you're too comfortable with this man this Aquarius, you're getting, you're too comfortable with them. Uh, open your eyes is the kind of feeling that kind of like, uh, Illumina, Illumina Oculos, you know, open your eyes. Um, someone is, is sneaky. Something is sneaky is going on around you. So you need to keep an eye out for what is going on around you. Basically, you may be spiritually connected to an Aries or you're communicating something to an Aries individual. Okay. And it could have to do, I'm getting firing. So maybe someone is getting fired here or you are firing in, uh, uh, you're firing an Aries here. Okay. Um, and it could have to do with work. It could be, it could have to do with, uh, either an Aquarius or someone who's in the light. So either this kind of feels karmic, 
It feels like a karmic situation where maybe you let go of someone, but you decided to keep, you let go of a person, could be this rising star that they don't have no sign right now. This could be like you let go of someone who does really well in the kind of work that they do. Like they were in your workplace, but they kind of went off and did their own thing. You decided if you are the head of your job, whatever the case, to let an Aries stay. Okay. Or you decided to work with an Aries, but it turns out that they're a snake or this Aquarius person is a snake. Okay. So you used, you weren't using your intuition about an air sign or you were feeling that, okay, you let somebody else go, but then again, you let someone else stay that they decided to leave anyway. So it's either like you're losing, uh, it's like credibility, losing credibility in a workplace environment. So it feels worky. It feels like, um, there may be snakes, like I said, in the workplace environment uh, that are kind of connected to people that you didn't know were connected. So if it's an Aquarius that's connected to an Aries, you didn't know that. You didn't know they knew each other is the kind of feeling that I get. So you're literally like the rising star, kind of like Aaliyah. You know, like you're the rising star in between um, people doing secrecy around you. I don't know. It's a little weird. It's a weird energy associated with that. So people, but being your friend, you have people on your side who are your friends, who you're, you're feeling that are your friends, vice versa, wise, vice versa wise, but they, they're trying to get at something. They're trying, uh, uh, to turn something upside down or they're trying to be sneaky. All right. So just watch out for that kind of energy there. Your mentality has the four of earth. Uh, you're penny pinching. You're holding on to your relationship with earth sign individuals here. Um, and it could be because of who you involved yourself with. So like I said, you're worried or you're defending why you talk to these people um, uh, over a earth sign. So this feels like some kind of work collaboration, but you did not associate, like I said, you didn't, you haven't been associating yourself with the right kind of people or someone else has, has not been associating themselves with the right energy is what it seems like there to me. Okay. Just all, all in all, be careful who you decide to work with. Uh, be careful of backstabbing energies. Be careful what you share, uh, especially if you're tied to somebody. Um, just be careful of, of how you expose things. Um, you know, and if somebody's doing this to you, you know, make sure that you're with somebody that's truthful. Make sure that you're with somebody that's that's not um, literally out there. You know, like this person is out there or you're the one that's out there um, looking for someone new. Uh, it, this could be dating. This could be love and relationship. Like you're, you're putting yourself out there. Um, you're attractive. If you're female, male, doesn't matter. You are attractive and you're, you're putting yourself out there. Um, you're being sociable. You're being, uh, you're dressing up. You're looking nice. And maybe it, you are reconnecting with an uh, Aries. Maybe you're going on a date with an Aries. I feel like you may have even tried to get someone else out of the picture. Could be earth sign individuals uh, so that you can stay connected to this Aries individual. Okay. Next card, the devil. This is what's changing. So addictions are changing or any kind. You're uh, maybe addicted to a Capricorn, but this is changing. It's no longer occurring um, or it's no longer going to occur. I feel like this may be someone that you, like I said, I was saying that there was an earth sign out of the picture. This represents Capricorn. So you may have had to get rid of a Capricorn in the past is what it seems like. But there is an element here as to like you may want uh, to have this person rejoin the team based on, like I said, you may have had to let go of person, let go of this Aries uh, to have somebody else come in. Vice versa wise, you have to let go of this person to have the Aries come in, or you let go of the Aries to have the Capricorn come in. But that is what is also changing. Addictions towards a person or a job is also changing. Whatever kind of work that you do, you're rising, but you're not you're not rising uh, with your eyes wide open. You're rising with your eyes sleepy. So a lot of the work that you do is kind of uh, affecting your personal relationships. People are starting to look uh, shady to you because you're not getting any sleep. People are starting to look sneaky to you because you're not paying attention or they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. The resolution has the 10 of earth. I'm tired as hell. 10 of earth is like a financial stability. And it also means that you have a lot of money coming in. You may be moving. Uh, you may have some financial windfall coming in here. So now you're able to move in uh, either with your water sign. It could be there's some moon arising energy. Um, 
but it could be like you're just moving period uh after you may have uh kicked some shady people to the side first or uh communication is coming in from capricorn or someone who is a rising star okay so whether you offer re-offered someone a job or you offer someone a home they're able to move now is what it seems like okay so you're helping someone find a house uh you found it they found it and like they're moving or you're moving in uh then you're defending that uh, to their family, to you, uh, to your family, to your sister, brother, whoever it is that's going on here. So you basically have a lot to say to someone that's MIA, if that makes any sense. Kind of rhymes. You have a lot to say to someone who's MIA. Okay. So that may actually be your heading message. All right, Sag. Um, so that concludes it. Um, I hope that it was enjoyable, most importantly, insightful for you. If you have any questions, want a private reading, uh, hit me up on hassaniife777 at gmail.com. Um, my PayPal is available for all payments of any kind, so donation, private readings, Reiki, etc. And uh, Instagram is also available, okay? I also do three free questions uh, with suggested donation, uh, so if you would like that, I can do that for you as well, okay? So have a blessed week, uh, Sagittarius. Take care. Bye.